navigate to preferences, or press P, and choose the correct audio interface from the list in the audio tab. Select the left and right audio in channel. Depending on your mixer and deck setup the correct settings vary, if you are unsure you can start with channel 1 and 2. Close preferences and click on the record and visualize button, ensure that you are sending a timecode signal. Do some vinyl movements and observe the result. If no signal comes through go back to preferences and try a different channel pair. Click record and visualize once more and check the result. Once a wave is being drawn, stop the visualization, and go back to preferences to configure the crossfader data signal. You do this under the MIDI tab. Select your mixer from the list. In the menu you can see the channel and MIDI CC message that Scratch Visualizer will monitor. This needs to be configured to match your mixer. You can do this via the MIDI Learn button. Once you are in the MIDI Learn screen, move your crossfader from side to side. You should see the channel and CC values change. Return to the main screen by clicking the button. Click record and visualize and try some combination of vinyl movements and crossfader clicks. Crossfader status can also be monitored when no visualization is being recorded. See the status text on the session information. You have now successfully configured Scratch Visualizer for monitoring and recording of incoming data. As the last step go back to preferences and click save settings. The screen edge should flash green, indicating a successful save.